This is important because, you know, this is what no other show will talk about, but it has to be talked about. Are we reacting with data and facts and reality to the police problem, or are we just reacting? No, I, so I, I think that's a false question. So are we reacting to data? The data shows that in the past year, 1,010 people as of today have been killed by law enforcement. We know that black people in this country are two times more likely to be killed by law enforcement than their white colleagues, right? But so, there is also the factor of how many interactions with black people. That's called poor policing. I mean, what, that, what that's, well, called, that's called, called crime disparity. That's called, oh, that's called, that's when, called broken... When, 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 when black people account for 50% of murder victims and perpetrators, and are overrepresented in contacts with the police. You have to take that into account. You also you take into account over policing of, of those communities as well. Yeah. You yes. also take. You yes. also. But, but, the, but yeah, most black it, people in I, America but, say they do not want the police defunded. Many say they want as many or more police. Well, let's that. So defunding the police, just so we can be clear, since we're what the world is watching us, does not mean that when I call 911 or my mom calls 911, the police will not show up. But what it does mean is that we won't have bloated police budgets, but instead we'll have after-school centers. Instead, we'll have uh, mental health professionals who arrive on the scene. Instead, we will actually be able to build community. That's what that means. I think but but I want to get back agree. to the we point. We can partly agree on that. I, I think we need less policing of petty drug crime. Correct. Need, um, look at that. We got an, Look at that. We're, we're making progress. Right, but, but, but more policing of you know, homicide and violent crime in neighborhoods where over half of crimes or violent crimes are not getting solved. So it's a complex, to, to me, just people have this idea that I want to see the police budget cut by half. I want, to, I want to see the police improve, whatever that means for the budget. That might mean spending more to train them more and so on and so forth. But I think we agree because I, not fully, but I, I don't want, I just don't want less police. I just want better police. Right. right. I, 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 okay. So, so that so and that's like, the that's the <laughs> issue we're real because you know I worry that there's going to be more riots and and more unrest in the streets and and o over something that may not be true. Now Charles Barkley and Shaquille O'Neal commented about Breonna Taylor yesterday. They got a world of shit about it today. Um, and I think what they were saying is we don't know if this is a racist cop killing or just. Plainly, it's horrible policy. No knock entries. Yeah, but plainly, anyone's going to get killed in that situation. I agree, and I think is we don't. That, we don't need to have. Is, we don't. We, we we don't need to have no knock warrants. We don't need to have chokeholds. We need to ban those across the board. I think Democrats and Republicans alike. If, if you want to, if you want to take from tonight's show a policy initiative, it's that. However, it, it's not the fact of the killing of Breonna Taylor per se. It's the fact that there was a lack of accountability. That is the biggest issue. It's the lack, but because, and Malcolm X said it best. I didn't think I would be quoting Malcolm X on Bill Maher tonight, but Malcolm X always talked about the fact that the most disrespected person on the planet is the black woman, yeah. period. And we're, we see that day in and day out, but it's the lack of accountability. You cannot tell me that if that was a white woman who was asleep, the police came in her house, fired 20 shots, that there would be no accountability, no, no indictments for the murder of that woman. So five years ago, a man named, a white man named Derek Cruz in a very similar situation, no knock warrant, they shot him in the face completely unarmed. Um, what that tells me is there is a much deeper issue than racism. There's a reflexive urge to go to the race issue. I understand it, but the truth is that police in general generally do not get punished for misbehavior. Well, I, it's I mean, very I, rare, and it's white, it's black. Well, so we have to solve that issue, of course, but reflexively making it about race. As and, if and this is, they were, they're, they're cops doing a cop job with a cop handbook and cop training. I feel like that's like the biggest problem here. Co cops, you know, I mean, you've talked about this a lot. I mean, you have said racist cops killing unarmed blacks is a false premise. Mm. Because if you look at, again, the data, uh, it's like, if you threaten cops in any way, they will kill you. That's the problem, is that well, they're I, a little... And, and look, they seen, have a very difficult job. This seen, is a country full of know, guns we, and full of nuts, let's be honest. <laughs> no, I, I, uh, I agree. But, I agree with but that. If but if you threaten them, if you resist, if you do... They think that they, that, that allows them to just neutralize the threat, i.e., fucking kill you. And I, that's why they empty, like, the whole clip into... They gotta stop doing that, emptying the whole clip when they feel threatened. There, 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 
I just, I, I I'm not sure believe, that it's a race thing. I fundamentally believe, though, that you see more de-escalation, that you see more individuals who are able to go home. Dylan Roof killed nine people in a church, including one of my friends, right? He killed nine people, drove all the way to North Carolina and got Burger King, right? He happened to make it to prison alive. Yeah. And, 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 and the, the, the most recent case with Kyle Rittenhouse, white boy crosses lines with the AR-15, kills two protesters, walks directly by the police with his hands up, and they just say, come on back, come on, come on by. And so you see these... That's not representative, though. Right, you're, you're cherry-picking examples. There, there are plenty... Did, did, did they not happen? But the, I mean, the truth is that... No, you're cherry-picking them. They happen. But for every example you could come up with, I can come up with examples of white people getting killed in precisely the same circumstances that, bla that black people do, either reaching for a gun or seeming to reach for a gun. And if we're talking about what violent crimes go unpunished, actually, the, the bigger problem is that uh, black murders go unsolved more often than, than white murders do, right? So it's not that the police are, are just ignoring white violence or violence committed by white people, right? If anything, they need to be paying more attention to violence that is committed and suffered by black people. I think that, I think that w the point that I'm attempting to make is not necessarily that interaction, although I think that's a big issue. One of the larger points is the lack of accountability. We and, agree and, completely. And so when, and when yeah. a law enforcement officer... However... When a law, when a law enforcement officer goes in and, and just, as you said, empties a clip, or they, we, we all admit that, that law enforcement officers have very difficult jobs, right? They keep our community safe. They have very, very difficult jobs. I am just saying, though, when you absolutely do not need to kill somebody or shoot somebody seven times in the back or whatever it may be, just be held accountable. Right. Of course. Of course. But and, and, you know, things have changed in that area. But I remember doing uh, editorials on this show about you have to hold cops accountable for this. And it's, it did happen. The last five years, a lot of them who did those horrendous things like shooting someone in the back we're held accountable. But Breonna That's Taylor doesn't even get justice. Of right, course not. This is not. a very not, different but, scenario because the cop was fired upon first, right? Obviously, she, Kenneth Walker had every right to fire because he thought they were intruders. Totally understandable. However, once the cop is fired upon, he has to have a right to fire back. Th it, there's so also a level, murder. and I don't want to... the don't, same as murder. But it, it doesn't... It, but yes, because if you walk in and you do not announce yourself... Right? Horrible. Hey, it's the policy, right? Oh, wait, Wouldn't but, you say that's the policy? Well, I, I am just, like, I get yeah. it. Yes, I, I, OK. But let we, me just, can I say this to you real quick? On. I think the system actually worked perfectly. I honestly do. Because I don't think the system is built for people of color. It's not built for black folk to have accountability. And it's just not. The system worked the way it was supposed to. What we have to do is either tear the system down or reform it and reimagine what law enforcement should look like.